Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? Great. How are you doing? I'm great. Thanks for having me out here at Ralph's. What are we going to be doing today? I'm excited to have you here. We're going to shine a spotlight on our athletic training and student athletic training program. March is National Athletic Training Month and we are ready for you to learn about the, our Swiss Army Nice of the athletic world. I'm excited to see what they have going on. Let's head out. Can you all tell me a little bit about what you're doing here? So we're going to be testing her range of motion to see if she has any like struggles going certain directions to find out if she has like an ankle sprain and a head resistance. Oh, okay. So what made you want to do this particular program in high school? Well, I've always loved watching sports and I wanted to be like a nurse growing up. Um, but once I joined here, I realized that I could kind of have both. I wanted to do a sport in high school, but then it was just like, I didn't really want to anymore. And then I found this class and not a lot of people do it. So I just thought it'd be something cool to try out. And I really like it. And it's just nice learning like all the different medical things. Cause I do want to be in the medical field. And it just like gives me a, like a little stepping stone to like learn everything else in college. I think it's, a, it's good to kind of get the word out about what athletic trainers do. If you're an athlete, most athletes will know what an athletic trainer is, but in terms of educating the public and then the parents and stuff like that and getting the word out, what the difference between an athletic trainer is, maybe even a, a personal trainer or a physical therapist and what role we serve. And, and I think it's, it's really nice to be able to recognize uh, the services that we provide these athletes on a day in and day out basis. How big is the collaboration piece and how does that help you expand the program that y'all have here? With the number of sports that are going on, it's, we're not obviously going to be able to travel with all of our sports, so we're relying on that host school and their athletic trainer to look after our kids. I can't say enough about how much we have to work with the other athletic trainers, not just in our school district, but in the Round Rocks, in the Pflugervilles, and the Georgetown, so we definitely work with them hand in hand. What type of things are they covering during their class time? We certify all the kids in professional rescue, CPR, and AED first aid um, in July, because that's right before we start. And they're learning like the basics of first aid, taping, what do you do when you're in certain situations, what are the parts of the body, and then as they go up in years, they learn more stuff. It does take a special kid to do that, and not every kid can do this when you start looking at the time that they're, they're putting here. Um, I always joke that I see some of these kids and I see more, my own kids more. Uh, um, but I, I think that they're a special type of kid that can do this kind of program and to put in all those hours. Thank you so much for letting me come spend time at the athletic training program here at Rouse. So what is it about athletic training that you want everybody to know? Our athletic trainers, our student athletic trainers do a fantastic job for all of our athletes. Um, they and our coaches, they make sure they're healthy and safe. They get them back on the field as quick as possible. And so just how they serve our other students is an amazing example of just leadership and things that we try to teach in athletics in general. I'm really grateful that I had the chance to come out and see what all this in program entails from their curriculum, way out to what they're doing and how they learn to evaluate. They're really doing so much work that I think most of us realize. And I really appreciate y'all giving us the chance to come out and learn exactly what our athletic trainers are doing and how the program is growing. So thank you so much for letting us come out today. Thank you.